Hello everyone. In this session, we will discuss about the closed loop transfer function. In the last session, we discussed about the just transfer function only. In the transfer function, we are discussing just we will give some input to the system input to the system system consisting of the a transfer function that will give some output then the transfer function will be directly written g of s equal to c of s by r of s that means laplace transform of output by laplace transform of the input so in the last session we will discuss about this open loop transfer function now we need to discuss about the closed loop transfer function look at here so again same input this is the input again we have the same input input is r of s and this is the input which will give the output but its system consisting of the closed loop look at here if you observe here we are getting a closed loop this is called the closed loop so if the system consisting of the a feedback gain this h of a feedback which consisting of some gain then the system is called closed loop system in this h of s is called it is also gain but but it is also feedback gain or we can name it as we can take it as feedback transfer function transfer function means simply transferring for this for this gain this is the input and this is the output that's why it is the feedback transfer function and this is the forward block transfer function this is the forward block or forward transfer function we can name it as forward block transfer function that means in the forward from input to output it's forwardly the input is transferred forward direction to the output but here the signal input signal is feedback given to the again to the input and this is called a mixer the system is called the mixer round pot is called mixer mixer means it will mix the signal it will mix the this r of a signal and this signal and generally for transfer function we are always giving the negative feedback that's why it is the negative feedback positive feedback will be given but it will be given for the oscillators and smitrigus these are discussed in the electronic systems okay so now we have to find out the closed loop transfer function and if you observe here the signal we are giving a signal to this and this is the negative signal and just assume the combination of these two signals is assume as e of s just take it as the e of s and just here from the output it will take the output that means the signal coming is nothing but the c of s from here assume it is transferred as b of s just name it as b of s so now we need to find out the closed loop transfer function our intention is to find out the closed loop transfer function yes for that purpose first each and individually write the the given terms first what is the e of s here just e of s here right here e of s is nothing but combination of two signals one signal is r of s and another signal is minus b of s because it is negatively feedback so write r of s minus b of s so take it as a first equation assume it as a first equation but what is b of s value b of s is nothing but this signal into this gain this feedback transfer function gain then we will get this signal so write that value then b of s value is nothing but signal is c of s and the feedback gain is h of s okay but we know that 
but what is CFS what is the output here the CFS is nothing but EFS into GFS just write it here then the output equal to CFS equal to EFS into GFS but you know that what is EFS you substitute the EFS value here then it will become EFS is RFS minus BFS RFS minus BFS into GFS into GFS just simply CFS by GFS you know that and what is what is BFS here just do this so just write or simplify the equation CFS by we will get the GFS this term by this term the remaining part is RFS minus BFS but here what is BFS value RFS minus what is BFS value BFS is nothing but CFS into HFS CS CF HFS okay yeah so now CFS by HFS now next so what is CFS multiply with the numerator then you will get GFS into RFS minus CFS into HFS into HFS into uh, GFS okay GFS from this from this you can common from these two terms you can common CFS if you common the CFS you will get this is the 1 plus H of S into G of S okay and you have G of S into R of S so now you will do the C of S by R of S equal to finally you will get G of S by 1 plus G of S into H of S so look at here this is the input is RFS and output is CFS this is the closed loop transfer function we will get the closed loop transfer function so whenever we are adding a feedback that feedback consisting of the uh, gain HFS then the closed loop transfer function equal to G of S by G of S plus H of S. So we are using negative feedback but we will get the positive there. This is the negative feedback. This will be the negative feedback. Okay. This is the transfer function. So for open loop transfer function directly this is G of S equal to C of S by R of S. But whenever a feedback gain is added that is negative then we will get G of S by 1 plus GS, G of S into H of S okay and we will write a relation between open loop transfer function as well as closed loop transfer function so how we can write it look at here for open loop transfer function generally we know the open loop transfer function is like this that is for example if you take the open loop transfer function that is g of s directly it is c of s by r of s open loop transfer function okay c of s by r of s so generally uh, so remove this just we can write in the numerator and denominator form we will get the equation generally numerator by denominator just take it as assume this is the numerator by denominator uh, the relation between the it is for open loop transfer function so in order to find out for the closed loop transfer function we can write directly like this that is 
numerator by denominator so assume it is take it as a g of s so for what is the whenever the numerator whenever g of s is a open loop transfer function the closed loop transfer function we can write like this g of s by 1 plus g of s into h of s generally negative feedback is always better to take 1 then we have like this g of s by 1 plus g of s just write it okay then substitute follow this principle i can write like this numerator by denominator by 1 plus numerator by denominator then what we will get finally finally we will get numerator by denominator plus numerator okay so this is the relation so whenever open loop transfer function is given in this form that is numerator by denominator form then closed loop transfer function we can write like this the closed loop transfer function is directly we can use this numerator by denominator plus numerator this is very shortcut method it will be useful for solving the problems very speed okay same thing this is the case one if you go for the case two in the case two if he given directly closed loop transfer function if he given the closed loop transfer function, that is numerator per denominator then we can write directly open loop transfer function that is open loop transfer function shortcut method is numerator by denominator plus numerator this is also a shortcut method this is a this is a these are the important shortcut methods for solving the any problems regarding the open loop transfer function and the closed loop transfer function these are very very useful and very very important okay if open loop transfer function is given then in the form of numerator by denominator then directly we can write closed loop transfer function numerator by denominator plus numerator if in the problem he given closed loop by closed loop transfer function as numerator by denominator the open loop transfer function is numerator by denominator minus numerator simple thing next we will discuss a problem regarding the transfer functions here the problem is the open loop dc gain of unity feedback system with a closed loop transfer function s plus 4 by s square plus 7 s plus 13 so he is asking to find out the open loop dc gain so first write down the given data in given data he mentioned he is given closed loop transfer function directly s plus 4 by s square plus 7s plus 13 and we need to find out the open loop transfer function first okay so what is the formula in the form of numerator plus denominator when the closed loop transfer function is given numerator by denominator and open loop transfer function formula is this is the formula the formula is numerator by denominator minus numerator so so what is numerator s plus 4 denominator minus numerator minus denominator is s square plus 7s plus 13 minus s plus 4 so by solving this we will get s plus 4 by s plus 4 by s square plus 6x plus 9 6s plus 9 and he is asking to find out open loop dc gain so we will we 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 already find we find the open loop transfer function we need to find out open loop dc gain open loop dc gain means simple dc gain means ac should be zero ac should be zero means j omega must be zero j omega must be zero so then we can write limit t tends to so limit omega tends to zero omega tends to zero 
open loop transfer function this is the formula then by using this so limit omega tends to 0 open loop transfer function is we will get s plus 4 by s square plus 6x plus 9 substituting all omega replace 0 s is nothing but you know that j omega so by substituting all s's become 0 then finally we will get the 4 by 9 therefore the open loop dc gain equal to 4 by 9 okay this is the relation between the open loop transfer function and the closed loop transfer function okay in this session i think all of you understand what is closed loop transfer function and uh, what is the relation between closed loop transfer function and open loop transfer function i hope all of you understand this session thank you